ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're going to do HTML Project 1 and talk a little bit about yeah. Internet history. All right, so here's the dealio. All right, you know the drill, what to do. We're taking notes as individuals. All right, so from 1946 to 1950 was the beginning of the Cold War. War. Um, I, I was living during the Cold War, not 1946 to 50, but I was there during the Cold War. It was just kind of weird. We had this enemy. We were all afraid that the Russians were going to blow us up. Um, so there were the rise of these superpowers, the USA versus the Soviet Union. Um, there was the beginning of the arms race. Everybody was building weapons and weapons and then super weapons. And then there's the, the space race began as a way for one country to be greater than the other country. Uh, Russia launched Sputnik, which was a satellite. They were the first people to get a satellite up into space. And then the United States was scared because it's like, oh, no, the evil Russians are ahead of us in technology. So it started the space race, which ended up with us getting a man on the moon. Um, there was intercontinental ballistic missiles. So all of a sudden, Russia and could shoot a, a missile from Russia all the way to the United States and blow us up with a nuclear weapon. That was kind of scary. Um, so what basically happened was there was all kinds of money being spent on military projects. We had money for military projects like crazy. Okay, and so why is this important? Well, that money was used to form the foundation of the Internet. Um, so th the Internet was started as uh, the ARPANET. Okay, it was started as a research project experiment with connecting computers together because basically what happened is right now, Every computer that you use is super super powerful and can do all sorts of calculations. But back in the day, you know, you took a computer the size of this entire classroom to do less than what your phone can do, right? So and it was super expensive to build these gigantic supercomputers. So what they would do, what they wanted to do is they wanted to come up with like, you know, okay, we need to figure out this calculation here and we'll just send it to this super expensive computer across the country and let them do it. So they wanted to be able to connect to these computers. All right. Um, so the ARPANET was about timesharing. The timeshare tried to make it possible for research institutes to use the processing power of other institutions' computers when they had large calculations to do that required more power. Okay. So they're basically trying to just do stuff over the internet. All right. So what is the internet? The internet is a worldwide connection. Answer this. To write these down. These in red or notes. Okay. Take hit pause and answer those questions. Um, these are more notes. Write these down. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to do the Shiravelli pizza from Project One. Okay, so we're going to get we're going to play around with using HTML to make web pages. Okay, um, so take a look at see what these things does. HTML, what that does is it starts a brand new web page. Head, okay, is the introduction to the rest of the file. Okay, it's just basically saying hey we're getting started. The title is what goes in the title bar. So up at the top of your, it goes what goes up here. Okay. Um, all right, so when you see the backslash that says I'm done, okay. Anytime you see the backslash, so you'll see, you know, you you start the HTML document and then you slash you end it. Um, body, this is the main body of the web page. This is where you write your main stuff, okay. Uh, H1 is heading one. It's big. HR is a line. P is just a regular paragraph, regular size text. H2 is is bigger than the P but smaller than H1. Um, an unordered list means bullet points, and so you're actually doing the bullet point. All right, so those are what these ta these are called tags, and that's what you're going to do. All right, um, quiz question: How did the internet get started? What is ARPA, and how did it kickstart the internet? Answer those quiz questions. Uh, all right, let's t take a look what we're going to do here for Project One. So, if I go into Okay, so here's my folder. So here's what it's going to look like. So you're going to make go into your folder and make a thing called HTML. All right. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to you're going to go start. You're going to go on the start menu. You're going to go to all programs. You're going to go to accessories, and you're going to open up uh, Notepad. Or if you want, you can op open Notepad plus plus. I think it's on the desktop. So either way, they both work about the same way. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to create this thing. So I'm going to say uh, open with Notepad. Okay, and so Notepad is just like Microsoft Word, kind of, but it's just a word processing program, but no features. Okay, so we're doing this old school. This is how we people used to program everything in the old days with like just a, a text text based thing here. All right, so what you're going to do is you're going to type this out. Okay, and you, if you go if you go file save, it's going to save it as a .txt. It's a text file. Okay, now that is not a web page. Okay, but what you can do is once you have this thing formatted correctly, you can go file save as, and you can change it to .html. 
Now normally this doesn't work. Normally when you just change the file extension, it doesn't work. Okay? But in this case it actually will. So if you were to just to take this, change it to .html, it actually is going to be a website. Now, when I click on this now, so you 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 actually have a formatted web page. Okay? So so that's what you do. So basically what you do is you go back and forth between your notepad and the web browser. Okay, so let's say I want to make a change. So I'm, instead of Sheer Valley Pizza, I'm going to type in Brian Miller's Brian Miller Pizza. And I go, and this is my HTML version. Make sure you don't use a text version. Let's go File, Save. Okay, now I go back to my web page. Let's take a look. Okay, did it change? No, because I didn't update it. So now when I do this, Let's reload it. You can see right there, now it made that change that I just did. Okay? So you can see when I refresh it, it changes it. Okay? All right, so you're basically going to be going back and forth between your notepad and your web browser to get this thing done. Okay? Um, all right, so now you go grab project one from the packet. Go through and do it. Make, you're going to make sure Valley Pizza. When you're done, do the notes for the HTML project. That is in the assignments folder. Okay, so do the notes when you're done with Project One. Ready, go.